Hi, welcome to the small shed. This Saturday we're back at Menin Sheds looking at the mezzanine floor. See you in a minute. Now, I was hoping to, to knock this on the head with the second video, but I think it's going to take two. There's quite a lot of work gone on. Um, so we'll pick it up where we left last time and um, start and have a look at it where, from where the ceiling joist was just starting to go in. I've put up the timber stud partition that's load bearing on the one side of the kitchen and then we move on and I'd started last time just starting to put the joists in so we'll go in and have a look and join it from there. I've done several sort of one minute little videos once a week um, to show the other guys who can't get down to the shed what's going on and keep them in touch with it so those are interspersed as well to give a little bit of a round up every now and again as to where we've got to week by week now bearing in mind this has been done with two gangs of two three or four people depending on illness ability or whatever else some of them are not able to lift things, some of them are not able to carry anything or climb heights. Um, so it's a bit of a ragtag mob of us. There's one good <coughs> electrician who knows what he's doing. I have some knowledge of building and so therefore I've tended to lead that side of it. But it's, it seems to be working well and um, the job seems to be going quite well. So let's have a look and see what we've been up to. So I started up on the top deck when I'd finished a couple of weeks ago getting joists in. Um, we've actually put another layer of joists above the old toilet at the back to get that level higher so that the flooring decking would run right the way through. I thought it was probably safer than having a, a six inch step in the floor. And uh, we just used some offcuts of joists to carry that line right through and then put the tongue and groove chipboard down so that we've got a floor and then it becomes relatively easy because all you're doing is just screwing into the joists the only important thing to uh, take note of is that as you progress forward that you don't leave stuff behind because I think it was about this time that I suddenly realized that I'd lost my tape measure and square and with a little bit of looking and reaching I found that they were on top of the toilet roof underneath and I had to spend about 10 minutes fishing them out But even with such uh, diversion, it does mean that that whole decking, once we got the joists in, was pretty much done in, in a day. They delivered the boards about 12 o'clock and by half past two I think they were all down apart from one small area. Just a quick look at where we are today. Uh, we've got the roof decking timber arrived and the plasterboard so we can get on with that as soon as we're clear. Take down on the braces off the wall that was up there. Main work's gone on in the kitchen itself. Uh, Jim and Eugene have sorted out the door, moved it from its previous place down there, put it in here. 
so we've now got the door in so that wall is now ready to start the plasterboard and uh, finish that I've just popped in for an hour or two while the lads are off they'll be back at the end of the week sort out a couple of things I noticed the door that they've put back in it's a bit of a big gap down there and that needs that can be sorted relatively quickly by just taking out three screws and pushing it across packing it sorting that out and I've also just noticed that the head isn't exactly quite what I'd wanted so we'll get that sorted and it's easier to sort it now than before uh, after we plasterboard it because uh, then it's a finished job so we'll just get that sorted having got the uh, door frame in pretty much the right position and got the door shutting uh, I then just popped a bit of popped the beading in for the door slat stops and started to think about getting the wall plaster boarded and the next problem is that the wall is now a lot thicker than it used to be and that lining used to be right for a 75mm, 70mm stud with finishes on either side. Now we've got a 95mm stud, we're going to be short, when we put the plasterboard on it's going to end up strangely here. So I'm just going to plant a piece of timber on here, I've just been and bought some half inch moulding which We'll go on there, plant that on and then the plasterboard will sit up against it and we'll put the architrave over the top. And on the other side I'll have the same thing, I've got some 20 or 19 mil timber so that the OSB will go up against it. It's at that point when you start moving a 2.4 metre piece of plasterboard around in a room that's 2.4 metres long and with kitchen units in and only just about 2.4 metres high that you start to struggle a bit but um, we got there in the end and started to get the plasterboard up I think this was about the third or I think this was probably the third or fourth week that we'd been here G given that we have probably 10 till 2 on a Monday that we do this work and then the back end of the week gang come in on a Friday for a couple of hours but with the best will in the world they are not um, experienced in doing any sort of building work so they tend to be there cleaning up and getting on there's the electrician works with that gang so there's a lot more electrical works get done at the back of the week and um, we get the construction work done hopefully on the Monday or Tuesday Time to have a roundup of what's been achieved this week down at the shed. Um, Jerry's managed to get the electrics moved by the look of it now, so that's all ready to wire connect up at the top. And we can now, now start and strip this wall out. He's taken the power off down the bottom as well, so it's safe. And Ed and Ray have taken the window out and by the look of it all the plasterboard on the inside so they've started dismantling all that partition 
so that's great that means we can just tidy up this corner when we get the uh, OSB off and then carry on and board all that wall out <coughs> so that's a good day's work I've bagged it all up nicely so that we can take that away to the tip so tip down in Perdis well will take plasterboard so that's good and they've swept up after them which is even better so we've gotten quite well this week they've started to put some of the stuff upstairs I think out of our way but really it's time to start putting it together in here next week and take this wall out perhaps let's go and have a look at the top and see what they've got up there but once again good week's work another great job by the back of the week gang thank you they've got the staircase down from in the corner so we can make a start and get that refurbished next week was then spent tidying up the plasterboard getting that all in and the other guys were just ripping out start making a start on the metal stud petition and getting that all detached from the floor and uh, cut off in the right place to enable us to get the whole of that wall out which is another of the milestones that we achieve quite a lot up on the top deck we've got all the timber that have moved from the corner and they've started to box or make some boxes for the timber store there brilliant just put a bit of uh, tape over the joints on the plasterboard so that the guys at the end of the week could go in and get some filler on that and then I made a start on some of the long 3.6 meter lengths that we had to enable us to get the staircase in I was just going to put two of those one either side of the staircase to hold it and then I could build the bottom steps up to fill in the the gap quick look at what the back of the week gang have been up to this week uh, immediately looks like there's a lot of electrical work been going on Jerry's taking a lot of the power socket breakers out so there's a lot of investigation been going on and sorting out of that which is useful and essential so that's great and all of the stuff in the corner now has been moved by the door so we're now starting to get to a point where we can set the machines up properly so they've done a good job on that got all that tidied up and moved a lot of the timber up onto the top deck where it's all sitting at the moment for uh, reuse later on a lot of tidying up gone on today so uh, good news we can hit the ground running on Monday they've also been working on the stairs I think at least I've been measuring up as well so that's a good start so there we are that's taking it up to the stage where the staircase is just about ready to go into the top deck um, and I'll come back and finish the whole thing off in a couple of weeks time when we do a video on that and um, show you around the whole thing when it's finished what's come into this as a something we'd never really planned for is covid and therefore we've spent a lot of time over the last couple of weeks just getting workbenches set up with screens in between and things like that which has impacted on the program of work that we've been doing for the the floor and the uh, kitchen area but of course we were slightly ahead of program anyway so in the end i think it'll probably all work out okay but we'll see that in a future video Hope the video was of interest. Look forward to seeing you next week. We'll be making something different. See you then.
Bye.